I'm Brandon Benwell. And I'm Hunter DuPont. And this is The View from the Falcon's Nest. Good morning, Falcons. Today is Friday, October 27th, 2023. The annual NHS League food drive is going on now until November 16th. Bring your non-perishable food items to your homeroom for our local food pantry. The two homerooms with the most food will win breakfast. Please plan to participate and help families in our local communities have a good Thanksgiving. In today's edition of Health Minute, we often think of mergers reducing costs, but experts say Indiana's hospital mergers have actually increased health care costs in our state. According to WVPE, hospital mergers and consultants that limit competition are driving Indiana's high health care costs. They recommend lawmakers consider legislation focused on reviewing potential mergers and addressing the impacts of mergers that have already, that have already happened. Hospitals in Indiana that merged had inpatient prices about 13% higher than hospitals that did not merge. Brent Fulton is the director of the Nicholas C. Petrus Center on Healthcare Markets and Consumer Welfare at the University of California, Berkeley. He said, Indiana has a history of not challenging mergers that limit competition. Fulton said other states have created ways to review potential mergers to evaluate the impact they could have on the market. However, Indiana's markets are already, having, are already heavily consolidated. In a 2022 study, Fulton and other researchers found Indiana's healthcare markets were dominated by national insurers and major hospital systems. A large portion of the healthcare market in the state is dominated by just six systems, two national and four state systems. And that's today's Health Minute. A special Falcon birthday shout out to Morgan Adams who celebrates a birthday on Tuesday. Happy birthday to Falcons who are celebrating birthdays in the next week, and that list includes Damian Howell, Maggie Walker, Kaysen Norris, Ina and Olivia Forsman, Gage Caverly, Gracie Wolf, Cassandra Garcia, and Justin Leslie. The Orville Easter Day American Legion Post 189 in Walkerton is sponsoring an all-you-can-eat goulash dinner from 5 to 8 p.m. Saturday. The cost is $8. All funds raised by the American Legion go directly back to the community in many ways. The Le Legion has, dominated, has donated thousands of dollars to little league teams, several John Glenn High School functions and fundraisers, fireworks display, and so far in 2023, dom donated 10000 to the community. Students, today is the last day you can enter to win the jar of candy, or guess how many books are in the media center. The winners will be announced on Monday. Now to weather with Caleb. Yeah, that's some pretty good looking weather right there. Partly sunny and a slight chance of showers. So thankfully not too wet today. Uh, temperature is a pretty good 63 degrees. And of course, as per usual, that good air quality. Moving into the three day forecast, uh, it's gonna be a lot of rain. Uh, Friday, high of 75, low 43 raining. Saturday, high of 54, low of 44, raining. And Sunday, high of 48, low of 36, raining. But aside from the rain over here, it's all sunshine and rainbows going through, going into the weekend. That's the main desk for sports. The John Glenn Falcons will be out to register their best season in several years tonight when they host Fairfield in the sectional semifinal game. Coach John Barron ranks 37th and wins among active coaches. If the Falcons win, he'll be within one victory of going into 36th place. The Falcons could have a rematch with Knox, coached by Russ Racky, who ranks second and wins amongst active coaches. Best of luck to the Falcons this evening. History will be made on the sidelines at Notre Dame Stadium this weekend when the Fighting Irish host the Pittsburgh Panthers. WNDU is reporting that for the first time ever at a football game, the Notre Dame Leprechaun will be portrayed by a female student. The university announced in an Instagram post that Kylie Kuznaski will don the mascot's iconic green suit. Kuznaski is one of two women to be selected to Notre Dame's Leprechaun lineup for the 2023-24 school year. She's a senior computer science major from Illinois. Now back to lunch with Caleb. Pizza time. Quite literally, because for lunch, we're going to be having pizza or stromboli. And of course, we're also going to have mixed vegetables, a lettuce salad, diced peaches, 
and Whoppin. It's a pretty good lunch lineup overall. But that's all we have for today, Stockings. Have an amazing day.